We are here. 2021. Let's get started with an album that I think I really like. And I think you will too. <laughs> Magic 8 Ball is the newest album released by Mac Ayers. And we're going to talk about that here today on Yes. R&B is a genre I feel like I was not able to review a whole lot last year. It's not like I didn't. It's just there wasn't enough ones that were too interesting. But I also feel like it's a genre where I feel like I have to actually get really sunk into in order to really love it. Because in the early 2000s, or even kind of late 2000s, and the 90s, uh, not to romanticize the times, but those were the good days. And even before then, but for me personally, those were the good days. Nowadays, we can still have that. It just seems slightly more exclusive to get the good quality kind. There were at least two things that were definitely capturing my attention. One was the production and instrumentation. Automatically grips me right here in the heart. Wonderful. And the other thing that I was kind of interested in is that his vocal fluctuations kind of reminded me of Omarion. I emphasize fluctuations, so not necessarily the same style, but there are certain moments where it seems like he's maybe changing the notes up or just using his personality. It just comes out that reminisces a little bit of Omarion. And I mean that in a positive way because I know that my last album review of Omarion wasn't that great, but I stick to it because I still love Omarion overall. We just have to remember the good stuff. Now, one thing that might hold this album a little bit back, depending on how the rest of the year goes, is that this isn't necessarily a long album. It's only eight tracks. That's still sufficient to be able to create a good album. And this one really is. Kicking off this album with the song Sunny and 62, it's got kind of a rainy and soulful vibe to it. And that I can definitely get into. The next song titled Sometimes utilizes both acoustic and electric guitar. Ah, I love the switch up. It also adds subtle percussion that is a great, just, you know, extra element added on top of it. The only thing that I found kind of just meh about this song is that it just felt a little short, but that's really it. The first song I would love to highlight is Nothing Else. <laughs> Just some of those percussion repetitions. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's get our creativity juices rolling here. That is something that allows me to just kind of sink into it, even though, you know, it's kind of more ballad-y, but, you know, that doesn't mean that groove can't exist within those songs. To be honest, the rest of the album continues in a positive trajectory that I feel like the rest of you should be able to explore for yourself. What really this album lacks is that some of these songs really just feel too short. I know of at least three songs in here that do have that kind of thing that suffers from it, where I'm getting really into it, but I long for more. And sometimes that's okay. I really do think that sometimes it's all right to just kind of cut off as rare as it may be. There are times where it is appropriate. In this case, I do wish that I was getting slightly more. Give me another 40 seconds of the song that just kind of helps me feel like I'm getting some finality or closure with the songs. I wish I had that. But to be honest, I love the vibe of this album. It is something that I wish other people would recognize. And well, hopefully, if you happen to see this review, you'll listen to it. That's what I would really like. Even if you're not sure if you like Max vocals, I think that you'll really like the instrumentation here. I don't know why I felt like I had to say that, because I really do think you'll like both. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, after having listened and reviewed this album, I'm going to give production an A, creativity an A-, minus, expression and lyrics an A, and how would I recommend this album? I'm going to give it a yeah. Also, another one where I want to give props to album covers. Come on, people. Like, if you want people to get engaged to your albums and make maybe new fans, album covers do something. This is one of those, and I actually have several more examples coming up because I'm a little late to the party in reviewing, 
So let's get down to checking some of these out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me in my social media links down in the description below and be sure to leave a like for the video as well as a comment down below if you want to engage with me. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.